Have you ever been stuck on a coding project and felt like you're hitting a wall? Well, that's exactly where I found myself when I was trying to write a ball tracking simulation for my juggling robot project. But then I discovered the power of ChatGPT. I was struggling to find a suitable algorithm to handle noisy input data and predict the actual landing site of the ball in my ball tracking simulation. And then I reached out to ChatGPT for recommendations. It suggested using a Kalman filter. I'd only heard of Kalman filters by that point, but I had no idea how to use one for my specific application. But with ChatGPT's help, I got a near working example in just a few seconds. And that was just the beginning of how ChatGPT transformed my coding journey. One of the main ways ChatGPT has helped me in my juggling robot project is by assisting with converting between different programming languages. As a self-taught coder with limited experience, I often struggle with understanding how to implement equivalent functions in different programming languages. But with ChatGPT, the process became effortless. It was able to quickly and accurately convert functions between MATLAB, C++, and Python, saving me a significant amount of time and effort. ChatGPT not only made the conversion process between these languages more efficient, but also helped me understand how to handle the data types in these languages. For example, I had trouble translating my Python code that used lists and numpy arrays into Arduino, but with ChatGPT's guidance, I was able to successfully convert the code and improve its performance in the target language. Overall, ChatGPT's ability to convert between programming languages has been revolutionary for me. It has made the process smoother, faster, and has helped me expand my knowledge and skills in different programming languages. ChatGPT has been a game changer for writing simulations in my project. With my limited coding experience, writing simulations for ball tracking and trajectory planning would have taken a long time. However, ChatGPT made this process much easier. For example, when I was working on my ball tracking simulation, I was struggling to find a suitable algorithm to handle the noisy input data and predict the actual landing site of the ball. I reached out to ChatGPT for recommendations and it suggested using a Kalman filter. At that point, I'd only heard of Kalman filters but had no idea how to use one for my specific application. So I asked ChatGPT to write a Python function that would implement a Kalman filter for my ball tracking simulation. To my surprise, I got a near working example in just a few seconds. It's worth noting that the example wasn't perfect, but it gave me a great starting point. And after watching just a few hours of tutorial videos on Kalman filters, I was able to tweak and refine the code to get it working. I cannot stress enough how much time ChatGPT saved me in this process and has also helped me better understand Kalman filters. This level of support from ChatGPT has allowed me to focus on the high level concepts of my code rather than getting bogged down by the nitty gritty details. I can now think about the desired outcome and how to achieve it rather than worrying about the implementation. This has allowed me to work more efficiently and effectively as I can focus on the big picture and mostly leave the technical details to ChatGPT. I find this to be incredibly empowering as it means that I have the freedom to explore new ideas without being limited by my technical knowledge. Lastly, ChatGPT has been a constant source of coding tips and tricks that have helped me overcome various challenges in my project. Whether I need to pad a NumPy array to match the dimensions of another array or find a solution to a complex coding issue, ChatGPT has always been there to provide me with the answers I need. The best part is that it feels like having a personal coding mentor at my fingertips. Unlike copy pasting code snippets from Stack Overflow threads, I can have a conversation with ChatGPT and ask it to elaborate on its answers or go into more depth. This allows me to understand the solution better and helps me avoid making the same mistake again in the future. Having this level of interaction has been invaluable for me and has made my coding experience much smoother and more efficient. I cannot recommend ChatGPT enough for anyone working on a technical problem. It's a valuable resource that can provide you with insights and solutions that you might not have thought of before. Just remember that ChatGPT is not perfect and its responses may not always be 100% accurate. So use your best judgment when implementing its recommendations. Something else that you might encounter is that ChatGPT has a limit on how much it can output for a single prompt. You can still get continuous output by following up with continue where you left off or by copy pasting a line from its previous output. But this doesn't always work, so you may need to retry a few times. If you know of a better or more reliable way to improve ChatGPT's continuity across prompts, please let me know in the comments below. While I was preparing for this video, I was just sort of curious to push the limits of what ChatGPT could do. And I was interested to see if it could write the script for this video. I thought that would be a bit of a, a nice sort of like full circle moment. <laughs> And you might have noticed the symbol up in the corner here coming on and off throughout the video. What that symbol represents is text that was written by ChatGPT for this script. And as you might have noticed, that symbol was there for pretty much the entire video just then. 
there's maybe two sentences in there that I changed and the rest was totally written by ChatGPT. It did take a little while to get that script down. I had to reiterate a couple times on ChatGPT's responses, but overall, I, I think it's pretty good. I think it would have taken me quite a while to get the similar level of output as that. Even the title of this video is written by ChatGPT. And I mean the process of working with it to refine the thumbnail to be what ChatGPT thinks will be best. I, for one, think that this technology is incredible. I view this as being sort of similar to 3D printers in so far as it is extremely empowering. This whole project would not have been possible five or 10 years ago for someone like me. You would have needed a proper research institution and a pretty hefty budget to be able to create the things that I have created here. And to me, ChatGPT is just another case of making technology more accessible. I can now do things with code that I would not have had a chance of doing before because ChatGPT can help me with the technicalities and the specifics. It's, it's honestly incredible. If you haven't played with ChatGPT yet, I cannot recommend it enough. I will absolutely be using it more in the future as well. So if you ever see that symbol up in the corner in any of my future videos, then that means that ChatGPT wrote the script for that section. I can't confirm how likely it is that that will be there because I don't usually use scripts because I can't record in this sort of format with the script. But if it's there, then you'll know what it is. Just a quick final thing. I'm going to be moving house pretty soon. So I might not be able to put out another video for the next couple of weeks. Hopefully it won't be too long, but I'm not expecting to be able to get a huge amount of work done while I'm in the process of moving. So don't worry that I'm dead or anything. I'll, I'll still be posting, <laughs> it just might not be for a couple of weeks. So until the next video, have a good one.